Hello everyone, today we are going to be reviewing the Fish Series 3 Dog Color. We have reviewed the Series 1 a long time ago when they first come out and I've been dying to try the Series 3. We actually ordered them in October when they first announced them, but it took a really long time on me getting my hands on them. I will talk about that in the review, but it's here finally and I'm excited to review it. I'm so excited to finally be able to check out the Fee Series 3. I've been waiting for this so long. So far, I could tell you the box looked pretty nice in the outside. We ordered a size extra large with the 6 month prepaid membership and I paid $122. And here we have our new dog collar. It looked like it moved out of place a little bit in transit. Here is the device. It looked a lot smaller than the old one. In a little bit, I'm gonna be looking for our old fee collar so we could do a side-by-side -side comparison. But this one looked very nice, very small. I think if you have a small or medium-sized dog, you could use it. I don't think you could use it with a tiny one. And here we have our charging station, which this time is magnetic. The all charging station, it have a few prongs. This one doesn't have that. And here we have the connector for the plug. It look like it's a standard USB charging. The charging cable look pretty long, which I like because a lot of time we travel with the fee base. And we like to connect it and we don't know where the connectors in a hotel or in a cabin are going to be. The packaging this time around, it looked very high-end compared to the last time that I bought a fee a few years ago. And for Venus, we got the pink. I didn't love all the options that they had, but it's better than in the beginning. In the beginning, the option was only gray and I believe blue. And this time they have pink, so I got a pink for Venus and blue for Apollo uh, but I think I'm gonna be getting a different color when I found a seller they have one that I like and this is an empty box that I guess to fill up the space This is Apollo's old fee color next to the new one so we could see the size comparison and you could see the old one is a lot bulkier and bigger all around versus the new one is a lot slimmer. I think it will be perfect to use with a smaller dog. The material, the old one feel more plasticky, the new one feel more high end. And in the back we see that the old one have the prongs to connect. The new one is magnetic, so you don't have those prongs in the back. When ordering them, I thought the charging bases will be both the same. I didn't notice it will, one will be black and the other one gray. I wish I had the option to choose the Venus uh, base will be black as well because it goes more with the decoration of my house. I don't know if I have something to do. The Apollo's color is blue and hers is pink and the base color. As soon as I put them to charge, a green light starts popping on, so it's time to take out the sticker and put them to charge. I don't think they came fully charged. I believe you have to put them to charge the first time that you're going to use them. And it turned blue and the fee color turned a green light, so I think it's good to say they're charging. I scanned the little QR code that came with the fee to see what it was about. And it was a YouTube video on how to connect the fee color to the color. If you get one, watch the video because I thought I could do it without watching the video. It was a mission and a half. I really have to rewash it with Jay to be able to put together the color. 
I record the screen of my phone to be able to show you the app and how it works. I had previously owned two fees, so you are going to see there the old fees that we used to have, as well as the two old vases. The two in red are the old ones, and the one that doesn't have the red mark is the new one that I'm trying to connect to my Wi-Fi. You need to connect to your Wi-Fi to be able to create a safe zone in your house or wherever your pet is going to be, that there's going to be a vase. You could set up multiple safe zones as well as temporary safe zones. Next step is configurating the two colors. And like I already have two previous colors with Apollos and Venus's name, for the two new ones, I'm gonna use their full legal name on the AKC website. Like that, I could differentiate which ones are Apollos all color versus the new one. You put in the basic information like their breed, date of birth, weight, and all of that information like that, they could compare it to other dogs in your area and on the country. They are from the same breed and on around the same weight. Then all you have to do is add up a recent picture of your pet and you're all set up with your new fee color. Then I have to do the same process adding Venus's color. Of course, I'm not going to show you all of that again because there's no point in showing you everything twice. You Oh, and they have a video on YouTube how to do it. Okay. You want me to show you the video? No, I want to try to figure it out. Let me go and get you the video. I want to figure one out. Oh, there it goes. It locks. Okay. <laughs> you just you take a little tab here it's a magnet it's a, oh man there it goes you gotta take that off and then you slide it in it goes a magnet it's pretty easy I think it's easier than the other one yeah. When you figure it out, because in the beginning it was hard to figure it out. And this one, you know, it's just a little holes with a little thing. Pucks in and you're good to go. Yay. We're gonna have to tighten this. This is, I think, kind of big for them. That's a huge color. Like, that food could fit any type of dog, a San Bernard. A mountain dog, a Newfoundland dog. Do you need me to bring in Apollo so you can get this connect? Mm, yeah, sure. His feels perfect. Yeah, his fit perfect. I, I did it based on his collar. Wow, buddy. The next step is to set up the goals. For the breed, they suggest 7,000 steps. 
I think that's too little. I want to put it around 10,000 as their goal for every day. Something that is brand new to the Series 3 is that it tracks the sleep. This is something that I'm very excited about. And here we could see the Apollo slept for six and a half hours and it took a two hour nap. Let's check now Venus's. And Venus slept for seven hours and took also two hour nap. She had zero interruptions, so she slept really well. It also show you that she went to bed at 2.52 a.m. and woke up at 10 a.m. I'm gonna be testing the color for three to four days before I give you my final thoughts. I'm gonna be taking Venus and Apollo on a walk or a hike, something that we could test all the GPS functions of the color. I put both colors on Venus's neck so you could compare how it look on an extra large breed dog. The color that the old fee is hooked on is from a different brand. It's an authorized seller, but it's not from fee. Well, it's time to take the dogs on an adventure to test the color in a real life situation. We're gonna be going down to the Florida Keys to do a small hike with them to see the steps that they do to be able to show you the features of the little map that the app have obviously even though we walk them every day around our house i'm not gonna show you where we live so we take them to a place that they love and is not that far away from us john pelican in key largo we did the tamarind trail i just wanted to see how accurate it was to show you more or less in the map and see if it was doing the same thing it does around our house where it shows us where we start but sometimes stop a little before where they actually we stop and it did it again i'm showing you here in the map it showed like we finished in the middle of the hike it didn't show all the way back to the car you see in the map the green dot show you where we started and the red dot where we finished the hike but obviously we finished and started in the same spot where we parked the car i don't know why it's showing off like we stopped right in the middle the actual hike itself it was pretty accurate that was the route that we took you even see when we took a small detour for apollo's poop and take it to the trash can when you finish your walk, if you go to the part of the app where it says live, this is what you will see. You will see a map with the layout of the walk that you did and it will tell you how long the hike was. This feature is excellent if you have a dog walker. Like that, it let you know for how long they walk your dog and where they took your dog, especially if you pay them by time or by distance. I went to the bathroom and I left them with Jay. And this was the notification I got to let me know they were without an owner. Another function of the color is the light, so I wait for night time to test it out. And I think it's less bright than the previous one. And it's also like blinking all the time, it doesn't stay constant. And if you have a hairy dog like Venus and Apollo, you barely see the light at all. Maybe if you have a dog like a Doberman where they have very short hair or a German pointer, something like that, it could work. But for Venus and Apollo, it's almost pointless, to be honest. So we have been testing the Fit Color Series 3 for a few days. And I have some opinions, some things that I like more than the Series 1, and some things that I'm still on the defense on. The first thing is the size. It's a lot smaller. The profile is a lot thinner. So if you have a smaller dog, like a medium-sized dog or even a small dog, this will work a lot better than the old one. But if you have a tiny dog like Shrek, I don't think it will work. It's still a lot bigger for a tiny dog like Jerkies, Maltese, Chihuahuas. I don't think this will work for any of those breeds. But anything like a bichon up, it will work. This time around, the signal is a lot more reliable than the previous model. Before we used to lose the signal a lot, 
We will use to get a lot of messages saying that Venus or Apollo were out of the safe zone, that they were without an owner, or simply it will lose signal, especially when it was really heavy rain. That used to happen a lot with the old model. With this one, we haven't had that problem. We have only light rain on these few days. We didn't have any like pour down rain. So I haven't checked that feature, but so far with light rain and with perfect weather, it's doing great and it's not losing signal like the other one did. The other one did lose signal a few times, even inside the house. Sometimes it will tell me they were out of the safe zone or that they had left the house. And I was literally looking at them, I knew they were home. Another pro that the new one has versus the old one is how easy it is to put together on the link in the color. The old one, I was never able to put them together because you have to like twist it and put them down. This one with the magnetic feature is a lot, lot easier. The app also have improved a lot and it have more features and it's more aesthetically pleasing. Before it used to be more bulky, more harsh lines now it look more polished, it look like they spend more money in the research and doing more things to the app. Also, I love the new feature of the sleep. It let me know for how long they have been sleeping or how long they have been awake, if they woke up in the middle of the night. And that's a great feature to have that the old one didn't have. In the cons, the light of the first model, it was a lot stronger than this one. This light is very, very weak and it's only like doing like a pulse and at night in Venus that she's so hairy, you don't see the light. Early on, I walk her in at night and you could see that you could barely see the light at all, which it will be a great feature if you lost your dog at night, you turn on the light, you see the pulsing light. In any dog that is very woolly like Venus, you will don't see the light because the light is very weak. I wish they have like a higher light, maybe a bigger light or something. And back then I had a really big complaint when we reviewed the series one, and I still have this complaint now that we are reviewing series three. And is that I have two dogs, so I would like to see both dogs in the same map when I'm looking at the light map, in case we are in a place and they went separate ways. I have to be going to Venus's map to see where she's at and then I have to go to Apollo's map to see where Apollo is at. I would love if they make in a picture where I could see the both the dog in the same map and see the Apollo is with me and Venus run out and I see where she's at. Or if they both run out but they go different paths, I could see the Venus turn left and Apollo turn right. I would love, love if in the future they could add that if you have multiple dogs, you could see them just in one map. I'm also very happy that they add more band colors for the color because in with the Syrian one, they only have gray and yellow. Now they have pink, they have blue, they have the original gray and the yellow. Obviously, we got pink for Venus. I'm not gonna stay with this band forever. When I find an authorized seller, they have a prettier one, I'm gonna change it. I have test a few GPS colors right now and I have to say that it's very reliable and I liked it a lot. I see myself using the feed for the next few months until I find maybe one that is better. If not, I will keep using it maybe for a year or two until they come out with a new one. Do I recommend it? Yes. It's pretty good and I think the price is right. We pay $122 for the color is 102 for the membership plan of six months and $20 for activation. That's something that you have to have in mind. This is a membership color. It's something that you have to keep paying monthly, whether you choose the monthly payment or if you choose the six month, you pay it every six months or you could pay a year in advance but it's something that you have to pay. It's not that expensive. I believe it's come out around, I'm gonna look it up. So the prices, if you got it month by month, is $4.40 a week, which it will be $19 a month. If you get it six months, that was the one that we got, is $3.90 a week, which it will be billed 102 every six months. 
if you get the yearly one that one it will be billed at $192 for $370 a week if you get the two year plan it will be $320 a week and it will be billed $336 every two years the color connects to AT&T network so if you have AT&T cellular phone in your area and you know how good the signal is, more or less that's the same that the color will have. If you know that in your area AT&T doesn't work, it may have some problems. They claim that with the new technology they get better signal and I have seen that they do have better signal than the previous model. But I haven't tested it in areas where we don't have AT&T cover. So I cannot tell you how good or how bad it is because here in South Florida we have very well AT&T cover everywhere. My biggest complaint is how long it took me for me to get the color. We ordered on October 19, two days after they announced the release of the Series 3 and I received it the first week of December. I have to email them multiple times asking for my tracking number and they will tell me tomorrow we will send you the tracking number and then I heard crickets. <laughs> Nothing will happen. I wrote them a few times on Instagram. The first time they told me I have to talk directly with support, which I did. I, then I wrote them again and I told them, listen, I already talked to support. I still don't have a tracking number. Where is my color? I have to wait over a month for the color, which I think it was crazy. I think Phil wasn't expecting to get this popular this time around, and maybe they got a very large demand, and that's why they were so backed up with orders, but I wish there was a better communication with the company and us, because we pay for this product, and they will keep telling me, tomorrow we send you the tracking number, and nothing, crickets. We, I will email them in a few days again and again the same thing. So if by tomorrow we don't send you the tracking number, contact us again. I will contact them, crickets. So that was something that made me very upset. I contact them, like I said, on email, on Instagram. And I try to do the chat, the live chat in their website. But it's a robot, what you get, and the robot is useless. Please, please, be, if you ever see this video, Please put a person to respond the chat in your website because Robopop sucks. <laughs> well, that was it for today's video. If you have another GPS dot color that you want us to review in the future, leave that in the comments and we will check them out to see if it's something that we are interested in reviewing. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.